what is up everybody welcome back to sand dog kayak adventures thank you guys for tuning in if you're new here this is what we do we go kayak fishing quite a bit we do some other things in san diego here and there we fish a couple of different ways here and there and might show you a couple of different things but we're like a 90 percent kayak fishing uh channel so if you dig uh kayak fishing or you love san diego and like being on the water and like to watch that kind of stuff you might want to subscribe we come out we have a good time like for example today went out with dad and daughter dad is john daughter is Allie. dad uh, wanted to get her out and give her a break he says she, she's been working a lot so they came out here to go kayak fishing and she is going off she's catching halibut and i said s with an s halibut she's catching corvina she's catching spotties she's catching all kinds of stuff the reason i know this is because i've been so busy since we've started with her catching fish that i haven't had time to do an intro so here's my intro thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel this video i think is going to be uh called ally kicks everybody's ass or all about ally or i have no idea but nobody else is catching fish so i got no choice so thanks for watching guys you oh oh he's getting pissed Now you're gonna be on the next video. Oh, I appreciate it, bro. Uh, we, we just got these like a couple weeks ago. Dude, they're so addictive. And we, yeah. We've been watching your videos and trying to do, we did La Jolla for the first time the other week. Oh, you're saying you did what at La Jolla? And... Oh, we just got like a bonita and some short calories. Oh, so yeah, that, that, that was your first time? Yeah. That's, that's a great time. first time, bro. Yeah, I just watched the video about the, the lobster. Lobster season's coming up. Dude, that's awesome, man. Those guys just got kayaks. They said that they've been watching the videos. They've been watching the tutorial stuff about the lobstering and this and that. And dude, they're out there. They're just heading out right now. And so I'm, I turned them on to a, uh, a spot down there by Paradise Point, And I hope that it works out for them. Guys, great meeting you. I hope that uh, you slayed them. I hope you get a keeper holly or two. And uh, good luck. Thanks for watching, guys. She's got it figured out. Yeah, John, figure it out. is doing it. I don't know what's going on. I do, you're catching fish and we're not. <laughs>
Got a little action over here finally. This one might be coming home. I'm going to have to make sure that uh, he's legal if I gaff him. Otherwise, I'm going to have to try and flip him in with light line, which is always a mofo. You see him? I want Oh, you're going to. Oh, my gosh. He's huge. Yeah. See, now I've got to figure out. Oh, you know what I might be able to do? Watch this. Let him, just let him run. Why is this clipped on? Did I clip this on? Let him get tired, go ahead and get tired. But see, I always have a bend in the rod, like I'm not gonna let yeah. that slack. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can uh, get the fish roots in his mouth, because that way I can bring him up for sure. Oh no, you're good, you're, you're fine, you can watch it. I'm good. I'm... Pretty sure this one's a keeper. That's definitely a keeper. That's definitely bigger than the one that I got. He's huge. Yeah, he's gonna be a keeper. That one? Yep. Wow, on great plastic? video. <laughs> <laughs> on no, on the uh, on the live bait. I was like, you know what? I saw a little sand here. I'm like, I'm gonna use one of these live baits and see if I can get a halibut. That's what I thought in my head, but it's just one of those oh things where you just gotta gosh. give it a shot. And... That is huge. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him because he's bleeding. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow, that's so official. That's a keeper, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a keeper. Yeah, that's way bigger than the one I got in mind with on the. Yeah, he's a uh, almost 23. Ooh. Well, not that much bigger, right? Yeah. No, a couple so inches. Yeah. He looks a lot bigger. Well, well that's one of the things is they get thicker, and like yeah, the bigger they get, they get huge. thicker. Yeah. So. Because he's basically bleeding out, I'm keeping him. He's not going to make it. So. Oh, yeah. so now I guess you didn't change, right? Well, not for tonight. I'm, I'll, I'll eat this guy tomorrow. I'll put him in the ice tonight, let him get really firm, and then when I fillet him tomorrow. Did you get him tonight? No, I'm going to bleed him right now. Anytime you want to bleed these guys, everybody always loves the graphic content. You snip their gills. All right, just go up here. And then drop them in the water. And then they'll just pump and see the blood pumping out from back there. And then, yeah, you know, blood is what makes the fish taste fishy. But even though helmet don't have a lot of blood, right. um, still I bleed every single fish I I uh, keep? catch. Well, yeah, that I keep, whether it's for me or someone else. Any kind of fish? Any kind of fish, even if it's doesn't matter what it is. I always snip their gills and put them in the water, let them bleed out. You, Brandon Douglas Cross. Wish you were here, bro. Well, I caught one fish in the morning and now one fish in the afternoon. That one in the afternoon was nice. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. I'm gonna have some halibut in the freezer now. I've been halibutless for a while. All right. So I'll put this thing in here. Get that. Say again. Buy a new net. You know, I ordered one. I thought it was like half that size, dude. It's <laughs> huge. That's gigantic. <laughs> it's on my kayak. It's gonna be like a sail. I was like, when it showed up, I was like, what the? Fuck? What's that? that goes on a boat, like a charter vessel in Alaska. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna put the thing on my yak. <laughs> Here we go. We got this guy going on ice. We got the ice. We got the salt. Boom, and then we get more ice.
Tomorrow this thing will be stiff as a board. <laughs> now it's time to turn her into fish tacos. Alright guys, here we go with the uh, clean part of the old catch, clean, and cook video. Right there on the old spine. What you do here, okay? So, what you're gonna need here is uh, halibut, white and purple cabbage, corn tortillas. For the pico de gallo, we're gonna use tomatoes, onions, dice them up, diced green and red jalapenos. We're gonna do uh, one bundle of cilantro and three limes, juice them up. For the beer batter, we're gonna use one cup of flour for the beer batter, one cup of ice cold beer, one cup of flour for the dredging, and some salt and some pepper. And that's all we're gonna use for the uh, breading. And then about four cups of frying oil. He says he used grapeseed oil, I have corn oil. All right, everybody. This is gonna be the catch uh, part of this thing. I, uh, I'm just gonna do a couple of things um, a little ahead of time, just to save a little time when people get here. So far we got both the guys who guide for me, my neighbor Ron, who's a really badass freshwater fisherman. He's coming over. Um, a buddy of mine, Bill, that's a member of the club I'm attempting to join, the Old Mission Beach Athletic Club. Him and his wife are coming over. Um, I've got enough halibut to feed everybody, but uh, uh, Sean's going to bring a couple of pieces of his unique stuff. He's got a bunch of stuff in his freezer. So, he's going to bring a few things, and so hopefully I'll a little bit of a cool smorgasbord of fish tonight. I am using the recipe off of Fisherman's Belly and that's this right here some of you guys may recognize fisherman's belly website um fishermansbelly.com but who's that guy right there who is that guy that's mikey from sd fish and sips um the guy who uh his name is yanni he's the guy who runs this website he's the one who took all the time to put all these recipes on here 
give it a shot. Check out Fisherman's Belly. Shout out to you, Yanni and Mikey. I'm just going to start off and make just a little bit of an aioli here. And please, please don't think I'm some sort of a chef or I know what I'm doing. All I'm doing is copying a whole bunch of stuff I've seen my wife do. I just throw some mayonnaise in there. Do some sriracha. Let's see how that looks. Let's help this down a little bit. Sriracha. Yeah, a little bit more, I think. There we go. This is basically going to be like a drizzle that goes over the tacos. So, now we've got us an aioli made. Here's our halibut fillets. They've been sitting in the fridge, staying nice and chilled. Oh, these are going to be so good. So good. I'm going to start something else now. We're going to start uh, chopping up vegetables. Let's see what time we got. 12.49. 12.49. Hey, this is perfectly fine. Boop. We've got white cabbage and red cabbage. I've been wanting to talk to you guys about something that I just discovered not too, too long ago, that if you're an aspiring YouTube guy, like you're, if you're a fisherman and you want to start making a YouTube channel, or if you're anybody that wants to start making a YouTube channel, TubeBuddy is freaking awesome. Like it saves me so much time like I used to have to sit there and think of all the tags and all what the, the, the best uh, search engine optimization words are. Um, and TubeBuddy does so many things automatically for you. And I'll give you an example. Um, you know, hold on, let me show you my phone. So right here's my TubeBuddy app. Boop. So Insight brings up how many subscribers you have. Every video that's that you've published so far. And I think I have about 40, maybe 45, something like that, I'm not sure. Tells you how many likes, this one has 26 likes, zero thumbs down, four comments, 295 views. I have one comment to check right here. It says, great video, thanks for the info. And I can see right here, it's from, I can see that it's from uh, when I showed everybody the top 10 places to launch in San Diego. Now check it out. Let's say this video wasn't up yet and I'm still working on it. You can click on the video right here Go down to this button right here, hit tags. And now I've already got these tags already, but all you do is put in your first few suggestions, or excuse me, your first few um, tags yourself to give it an idea of what you're doing. Halibut Fishing California, Fishing 2021, Hobie Kayak Fishing San Diego, yada, yada. Then you go suggest. And then instead of you sitting there and thinking of all the, well, what are the best ones I can do to get the most views? It gives you a list, bro. It gives you a list of all the best tags you could possibly use. And you pick the ones that that uh, apply specifically to you. This, without this little app, this used to take me 20 to 25 minutes. With this app, it takes me like two. TubeBuddy is super cool. Um, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. There's a free version. It's super helpful. If you're a, if you're a up and coming YouTuber and you want a little help, something that'll like push you along a little better, download TubeBuddy. I will leave a link in the description below. You guys can get TubeBuddy for absolutely free. Give it a try for you aspiring YouTubers. You're gonna love it, man. It's, it's super helpful. I am not a huge cilantro fan. So I like a hint of it, but it's very powerful. So I don't put in a lot of it. Just a little bit. Probably for this about that much. Red jalapenos. Well, the question is, do we uh, take all the seeds out <laughs> or leave them in there so it's hot as a mofo? No, well, uh, I'll take them out. Let me know. 
throw a hunk of seeds like that in there, it might be a, uh, that's gonna burn twice. You know what I'm saying? How about some green guys? Just for right now, we're gonna get the good stuff out of here. Vine ripe and tomatoes. And if you guys have a favorite uh, like pico recipe or halibut recipe or fish taco recipe, dude, leave me a comment. Tell me what it is. I'll try anybody's fish recipe from anywhere. Let me know where to find it, what it is, how to get to it. I'll make it. <laughs> I'm getting tired, it's been a long day. But the beer batter and the dredge right here. And then I'll go grab the halibut for next. Look at all that white meat. You. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this. Halibut here. Yellowtail here. Oh. Oh. Oh, it smells good. Damn, it smells good. 